Hi guys. Welcome back to PageFly video tutorial series. This is a new video in the series of videos named what PageFly can do. In these videos, I will use PageFly to build Shopify pages based on famous websites to show you capability of PageFly. Today, I will guide you how to build a page based Hermes homepage. Let's take a quick look at the page. With this landing page, Hermes wants to show their brand story, collections and featured products. Hermes use order W01, courier new fonts that is not supported in PageFly, so firstly, you need to add custom fonts first, let's see how I do it. You can see, here are the fonts that I uploaded. You can check the uploaded fonts in Global Styling. Next, click on the Settings icon, and choose Upload Fonts. Here you can see the custom font. Choose these font. And don't forget to publish to use. Let's start building the first section now. On PageFly dashboard, click on Page Type, and select Home Page. We will create a page ROM scratch, by selecting Create a Page from Blank Page here. Now, we are in the PageFly page editor. To build the first section, you will need to add a heading, a paragraph, a button, and an image elements. I will drag and drop a heading element to the page. Then, you can change the heading text in General tab and customize the style of heading text in styling tab like this. Now, I will add a paragraph below by drag and drop it to the page. Let's change the content and styling it. Next, I will add a button and styling it. To add a hover state like the sample page, let's switch to mouse over state, then remove the border. Move to the last element of this section, we will add an image element here. Almost done, let's adjust the whole section to center, by set text alignment and styling tab.
Now we move to the second section, it's a collection list. Let's see how I'll make it in the editor page. Similar to the first one, we will add a heading first. Then, change the heading text in general tab. To save time, I will copy styles of the first heading. And apply it here. Then adjust it to center. Now I will drag and drop a collection list here. Go to General tab. Select Custom Collections. And you can moving the position of each collection like this. In general tab, I will enable link to collection. Then styling it in styling tab. Let's take a look at the third section. We will need a half layout first. Then I will add content for each column. For the left column, I will add a heading, a paragraph, and a button. Then, change the content. Similar to above, you can copy and paste style like this. And, add an image to the right column. Forly, to build the next one, I will duplicate the first section. And move it to section 4. I will change the text, and the image first. Then, I will add a product list next to the image. I will choose Material Collection and General Tab. Let's change the styling of the product. Next, 
I will adjust the image height similar to the sample page. Move to the fifth section. You can see it has the same layout with the first one, so you can duplicate the first section and change the content. To build the next one, I will add a product list. To similar with the sample page, I will delete the add to cart element and styling this section. You can follow the steps to add styling in the previous section. It's easy, right? Finally, let's build the last section in this video tutorial. This one is even much easier. To save time, I will duplicate the first section and move it here. Next, change the content. Then, I will add an image element next to the current image and change image in Image Manager. We will set the background color for the whole page now. Don't forget to check the responsive on other devices. Let's switch to mobile. It's great, right? All done, let's see how the page look on live view by clicking on save and publish. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.